It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. Okay, this is a perfect example I want to show everybody here on this Mercruiser IO, all right? With the marine exhaust, you have the exhaust manifold, all right? Uh, we have a six inch spacer. This is a dry joint spacer. And back in the 80s and early 90s, they didn't even really have a name for the, for the joint. It was just the way it was. Uh, now, what they call the older technology is a wet joint marine exhaust. This is a dry joint right here, and above that we have the actual riser. And good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. Awesome program lined up for you guys. We are going to be talking about marine exhaust today. We are going to be going to Virginia. We're going to see how a manufacturer actually makes them. We're also going to be heading out to the east end of Long Island. We're going to cover a lot of different combinations that there are in these exhaust parts. Okay, it's critical information. We're even gonna talk about a marine hose that normally doesn't get addressed or looked at that often, and it's critical, guys. I'm talking about scupper drain hose. Now, today's program is gonna be loaded with valuable information, so we need you to pay attention. But first, like always, we've gotta acknowledge all the great companies in the marine industry who help make this show possible. Shipshape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by the entire collection of beautiful Sunbrella fabrics. Sunbrella, the only fabric to offer both design and performance above and below deck. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Welcome back. You're watching Shipshape TV, boat improvement made easy. Up here is 1970s Mercury Marine log style manifold with a three inch 90 degree discharge. Okay, this is cast iron marine exhaust. You, you make this gear for Mercruiser, okay? What's here? We have 80s and 90s style center discharge manifold, four inch riser. And uh, oh my gosh, you would not believe how much cast iron this facility located in Natural Bridge Station, Virginia, is pumping out a week. I'm talking like 40 to 50,000 pounds every week of the year, supplying everybody with their marine exhaust. And where we're at is uh, Bar Marine, and we have the general manager with us. This is Mike Gibbs. And, uh, and Mike, you know, uh, you've, been, you've been making marine exhaust, you're the world leader in this, for the different engine manufacturers and everything for a long, long, long time, okay? You're, you're bar none the world leader, and pardon the pun. What do we have here? We have a newer style dry joint mercury centerizer manifold. Okay, and, Cle and Cleet, Glasso, and I are gonna be talking the difference between the spacers and the degrees and, and all the different decades of yeah. exhaust manifolds in a little bit. Um, I'm very familiar with, the, with this flu, you guys probably are too. That's a Crusader, Crusader. block manifold. You, you, you'll see they make the Volvo exhaust. What do we have over here? We've got an Inmar small block centerizer okay. manifold with a riser. Pleasure craft and out front. Pleasure craft. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference between like bar marine exhaust and, and like others out there? And I really want to get into the, the, the point about how marine exhaust works. Literally, you're taking seawater up into the engine. It's going through these cast iron parts and it's transferring the heat between the engine and it's keeping the engine cool, Correct. right? It's going to corrode 
and salt water. Trust me, you're going to be replacing these parts. Fair, yeah. But I want to get into the differences in like thicknesses. Okay, yours is what in thickness compared to like thirty percent to fifty percent thicker walls internally. Okay, so if it's going to corrode with that salt water, if you have a thicker part, it's going to last longer. Okay. okay. What's the station back behind it? We test and impregnate every casting. What we do is we, under pressure, um, insert a sodium silicate solution into each casting, pressurize it. What the sodium silicate does is adheres to the internal walls to prevent any voids or any openings within a sand inclusion within a casting. T -t Typically, guys, I, I think a warranty for marine exhaust is like a year, all right? You, with doing things like more material, uh, impregnating it, okay? Remember, this is done at a, at a, at a foundry with casting sand, okay? You've got little, you got little caves, you've got little dimples inside that. When, when you can sit there and fill in those things, you can provide a longer lasting part. What, what, what's your warranty? Our warranty is three years. Okay. You're making the original stuff, okay, for the manufacturer. You also have your own line of replacement stuff. One year warranty, three year warranty. What about price? Usually about 30% less expensive. Okay, and, and you know how, there are a lot of people that are really devoted to that brand kind of thing. Might open your eyes up a, a, a little bit. Possibly. Typically, you know, you go to a manufacturer and uh, you know, they, they sell it by the piece, okay? Here's a riser. But it doesn't have the proper gaskets, it doesn't have the hardware. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see over here, I, I, I see kits. What, what, what do we have in these? Each part that leaves our facility it comes complete with each mounting gasket, all the hardware required to mount it back on the boat the way it came off. You don't have to search the world, okay, to get all this stuff. Everything's for you. And, and again, if, if, if you're boating and using that boat in salt water, count on replacing these parts, all right? If, if somebody wanted to maybe come here to Natural Bridge Station, mm -hmm. a couple miles up the road, you have an unbelievable sight. We were checking it out earlier in the week. It, it's called Natural Bridge, and, and I think either George Washington or Thomas Jefferson or whatever surveyed the land and found it. Jefferson bought it from King George III for like two bucks. Two bucks. Two bucks. Money. Okay. You have no idea the scope of how cool this, this, this is like 72 million pounds, one rock, limestone, Traffic's going over top of it. I mean, it's so cool. But but if people, I mean, this is a very important component of, uh, of a marine engine. If people want to get more information on, on FAR, okay, and what you have available, you, you make all this stuff. Sure. Where can we leave it? www.farmarine.net. Well, guys, we're going to be traveling up the road yet again. We're going to be going out to the end of Long Island, all right, to a town called Riverhead. And Cleek Lasso from Lighthouse Marine Supply. He's going to be teaching us about the different decades, the different spacers, degrees, critical information. And we'll cover it right after this. Stay the course. Shipscape TV and its host, John Graviscus, will be back in a flash. Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvement? Well, you caught it right here at Shipscape TV. John, bring that forklift in, please. Now, now, Cleet, at the beginning of the program, okay, I was pointing out to the audience a spacer on marine exhaust. And, and I see here, and, and very nice way to bring in a presentation table here. <laughs> this, this is quite impressive, right both in tools. Um, but that's a three inch spacer right there right. With, with dry joint exhaust. Exhaust, okay. And this is a six inch spacer. With right. dry joint. Guys, welcome back. Remember I said we're all the way, or going all the way out to the end of Long Island. Last night it was so ugly, getting out of the island, going through the city, okay? Uh, mist, it's like 49 degrees, windshield wipers <laughs> are going like crazy. You're not used to I'm it. getting on the Long Island <laughs> Expressway, traffic like crazy, and man, has the weather changed. It's a beautiful right, spring day here, the flowers are out, and, and where we're at is we're out in Riverhead, New York, at your place, okay? You got a couple places here. Lighthouse Marine Supply, the big store, Right. And you also have Lighthouse Marine Distribution. Correct. Bar 
Marine is the manufacturer, guys. Cleet, his company, is a master distributor. He's the one, their crew is the ones that get you the Marine exhaust, no matter where you're at. We are in the and world, we, we okay. ship. Out front, we have older, like 80s technology. That's a wet exhaust, okay? That's a riser. Back behind it is dry joint. What's the difference? Well, in the wet exhaust, you can see that the water is very close to the exhaust around the outside of the riser. Cast iron, salt water, eventually it's going to corrode through. What, what happens if water gets inside that exhaust? Well, then it, your engine instantly hydrolocks without any warning, and you ruin a whole engine. Okay. Dry joint. Um, where does the water come out? Where, where well, does it transfer the heat? Well, the water is further away from the exhaust. So you have less of a chance of the water mixing into the exhaust system. Is it as efficient in cooling? It's a little bit better in cooling, yes. Does anybody ever swap out? Sometimes they do. It's a little involved. It's not necessary. If you replace them every five years, you'll be in, in good shape. OK, fantastic. Um, Cleet, let's talk a little bit about degrees in the risers. This looks like it's off, maybe. This might be, is that a seven degree That's riser? That's a seven degree riser, John and the one next to it is 14 degree. Okay, so you have different degree risers. There are different uh, height, height spacers, um, three inch, six inch, inch and three quarter. So there are endless combinations of possibilities of all these parts for a particular engine because there's so many different boats, there's so many different models. Right. Why are there so many different combinations? Why are there different degrees? Well, every boat is made a little differently, so the engine doesn't sit always at the same height. And you want to have the proper height riser and uh, spaces so that when you're backing down, you don't push water up into your exhaust and hydrolock your engine. Okay, he'll be selling you an engine instantly instead of the parts. He's trying to save you money um, rather than you know buying the whole new other engine right. again. Okay, right. Mike Gibbs was talking about one of his bar kits. Okay, this doesn't just have the manifold in it. Okay, this has what else? This has the manifold, the manifold to head gasket, the riser gaskets, and the bolts to mount the manifold to the head. Okay, but it does not have the riser on right. it, um, and it might be a different degree uh, type riser. Um, it doesn't have any spacers involved. You and your staff, okay, um, you recommend to people to get them a couple of pieces of information before they order their replacement uh, marine exhaust. Right. Okay, the, well, what is that? The most important is the engine serial number and then any casting numbers off the risers or the spaces or the Okay, look, look, look at the three inch uh, uh, spacer right there. There's a casting number on it, okay? Your riser is gonna have a casting number on it, okay? Now, now, now one exhaust manifold, not gonna do your whole, that, that's only one side. Okay, right. you're going to need two of those. You're going to need two risers. You might need spacers. You're right. going to need different length bolts. You're going to need all kinds of different stuff. You create master kits and send them right to the doctor where everything's included, one part number. One part number, okay. yeah. We create the part number and we figure out all the different combinations and we have several different part numbers. So when you call us up with the correct information, we can get you the correct parts. Okay, give them the website so they can get your phone number. MarineEngineParts.com. Okay, guys, call them. All right, they're gonna make you look like a pro, okay? They're gonna put it all together as a kit and they're gonna send it right to you so that you can do this. Again, if you vote in salt water, count on changing these parts every five years. Every five years, okay? that's right. Now, you're a big believer in bar, okay? Aftermarket exhaust, you, you, you sell the original equipment, you, you, you sell the bar, okay? They were talking about thicker, the, uh, they were talking about the uh, uh, the dipping of them, what they're doing internally, and the impregnation. They, uh, they were talking about the anti-rust. I mean, um, do, yeah, does do that hold it. true? I mean, is this, your third generation marine industry, so many people trust you and your family for years and years, decades. Is this really good gear? You might be sold on just, hey, I'm going original equipment. Is this a viable choice? It is a viable choice because they're made in the United States uh, and Barr actually makes a lot of manifolds and rises for the OEMs. Uh, exactly, the same company. <laughs> okay, so if you can save 30%, okay, and get a better part, it's probably something to consider. Yeah, it's okay. definitely worth it. One, one more time, give people at home the website. You're, you're one of the leaders in the country, okay, and now going globally, okay, with selling this stuff through the internet. MarineEngineParts.com 
Don't sail away. Shipshape TV will be back in a flash. If you'd like to watch today's episode again, go to our website, ShipshapeTV.com, and watch it free on any device, anytime, anywhere in the world. Tell a boating friend today. Hey, boaters. This is Cleet Glasso from Lighthouse Marine Supply. Pettit Paint came out with a new product called Seagold. It's a water-based, topside finish for teak and other woods. And what's nice about it is it's water-based, so you can thin it with water, and you can clean up with water. It's also fast drying, so you can do three to four coats per day without sanding in between coats. So it'll save you time, it'll save you money, and best of all, it'll last for years. This is Cleet Glasso from Lighthouse Marine Supply. Please look up our website, marineengineparts.com. Hey John, not a lot of people get to be on this side of the counter. All right, we're up in Riverhead. Uh, on the other side of the county. This is where you, your team works so hard to help all of us boaters and we learned a little bit about the subject of marine exhaust today on the program with my really good dear old friend Cleet Glasso. And uh, Cleet, one of your customers actually packaged up all his hose and sent it to you, especially for me, to point something out. And who sent it to you and, and what are we looking at? Well, Red from uh, North Shore Yacht Sales sent this to me. This is scupper hose from an eight-year-old Grady White. Okay, this, was, this is only eight-year-old scupper hose an eight, in New York. Okay, the salinity of the water in New York, guys, is completely different than the salinity in, of the water in the Caribbean or, or Florida. This is o only eight-year-old. This is an engine hose. This is not bilge hose. This is a scupper hose. And, and, and there's no way that a bilge pump would ever be able to hold up to that kind of a failure, would it? Right, no couldn't way. Couldn't keep up. Couldn't keep up. All right, up. you'd sink. So boat maintenance is so critical, and your team does such a great job at helping with people. Thank and we need to thank you. We've got to thank uh, everybody at Bar Marine today. We had Mike Gibbs on the program, his staff. Howard Marsh was helping us out. So many individuals in the marine industry, but we're all out of time. It's been a lot of it here in New York. It's been yeah. a lot of it in Virginia. But um, the most important person that we need to thank is everybody at home. Hey, guys, thanks so much. I'm John Graviscus. This is Cleek Lasso. We'll see you on the next go-around. Closed captioning provided by the over two-decade video library at the all-new ShipShape TV website. Available now worldwide online with paid subscription. Makes a great gift with a special boater search engine for ease of use. Hurry, the introductory price ends soon. So watch any episode, old or new, on any device at the all-new ShipShapeTV.com.